we do get complex cases. They are people who have been too complex for their outside providers to manage or even other, other hospitals to manage. We treat binge eating disorder, we treat anorexia, bulimia, ARFID, which is avoidant restricted food intake disorder, other disordered eating patterns. We also treat any co-occurring intense addiction other psychiatric complex disorders like personality disorders, self-harm, suicidality. There is no taking care of one or the other first. They're co-occurring. They need to be treated concurrently. We are in more of a residential and natural area, and it doesn't look like a hospital. It's a very mindful campus. It speaks to not rushing and realizing there's a process to recovery. Silver Hill, unlike a lot of other treatment centers, has both an inpatient psychiatric and detox facility, as well as transitional living programs. We have the ability to send them up to our inpatient acute care unit. They might spend a night or two there and then come back when they're ready. We also have a group for the LGBTQ population for all of the transitional living programs, so that's something that differentiates us quite a bit. DBT stands for Dialectical Behavior Therapy. It's been around for a very long time. It's a very tried and true, and it's empirically based, which is all of our modalities. Everyone on the team is intensively trained in DBT, which is really important for us. They often have individual sessions with therapists, so myself, the nutritionist, or the psychiatrist. They meet with the social worker twice a week in an individual session. They meet with the dietitian at least once a week, but the dietitian is always at the table. We have a residential counselor in the house 24-7 who's there for skills coaching. It's very important to us to be connected with their outside providers. We'd like to keep them as much in the loop as possible and collaborate as much as possible just to get the best patient care. Just knowing that in social work and in therapy, a lot of the times you're planting seeds and providing stabilization for future work. And at the same time, we do see a lot of progress during the time that someone's here.